Hello and welcome to Selfie Torah. This is another edition of Ventriloquizant, where I do a really bad job of ventriloquism because you see my mouth moving too. Well, this is my friend. He doesn't have a name. Isn't that sad? But he's been visiting my house and he's about to leave. Okay, you ready to leave? All right. So he's gonna walk out the door. Nice. Well done. And hear it? We're at the door, he leaves, right? Whee! That is not the way we say goodbye to guests. In Judaism, you see, we have a mitzvah called being milava guests, escorting guests out the door. In fact, there is a certain distance, that's four almost four cubits, about seven feet or so. So we're gonna walk out our door right here, about seven feet from the front door, and then, whee, he can go where he wants. Kids, don't try that at home. I don't recommend throwing your guests bodily anywhere. Nevertheless, in this week's total portion, we find a situation where someone is found dead in between a couple of cities, and we don't know how they died. The people of the city he was just visiting are considered responsible in this whole procedure they need to go through. Why? Because they didn't walk him out, they didn't escort him, they didn't give him food and water, walk him out, make him feel better. Because if you help someone leave in a positive way, they're more confident, they're happier, and they can withstand more attackers or hunger or whatever it is they go through. So I'm gonna go and pick up our little friend here because I didn't mean sorry about throwing you. That's okay. I don't mind. I'm from SeaWorld. I flip through there all the time. Here, check this one out. Whee! Whoa. Anyway, so we learned about the midst of escorting guests, and it's something we could all do at home. When someone is walking out of your house, don't just wait in the doorway and have them walk out. Step out with them, walk them out. It'll make them feel better. You might be a little bit hot or cold, depending where you live, but they'll feel better, and you will be doing an incredible mitzvah as a host, hosting guests, which we learn how from this week's Torah portion, from our forefather, Avraham, and from many other lessons in Jewish history. So, for myself and for my little friend here, have an Agila Shabbat. Have an Agila Shabbat. Just keep swimming, just keep swimming, just keep swimming.